Hi everyone, I am Christine Pluvios, a proud opening act alum. I am a filmmaker slash film student and I am here to teach you how to make your very own short film or documentary. The first step towards making your first film is to choose a topic that interests you. A lot of people, they tend to think that they have to be passionate about something and I feel like that's a lot of pressure to put on one especially when it's your first film like yes if you are passionate about your topic great kudos but however for those who are just trying to you know put their toe into the into the filmmaking process it's okay it could be something simple it could be a hobby it could be a person that you know that you think is cool it could literally be about anything the world is your oyster as far as filmmaking is concerned because you can literally make a film about anything it's just up to you to choose what it is It's okay to have a film partner. A lot of times people think that they have to make films on their own, you know, because it's like cool or whatever, but I promise you, it is okay to have a team. If you have one film partner, great, two, wonderful. Like, however, make sure that everyone knows their role within the filmmaking process. If there has to be a director, there has to be a producer. Everyone can have their role. Like, there are so many important roles in filmmaking that all you have to do is just figure out what's best for you and stay in that lane. So yeah, make sure that you have someone to help you during this process because you will need it. especially when you're doing documentary filmmaking is do your research okay it's so important that you know and you're aware of the topic that you're about to make a film on because again the filmmaking process is a very long process and you want to make sure that whatever you're doing it is something that you're interested in because you're going to do a lot of research on it you need to know what you're talking about and with documentary making you'll need to form questions to the people that you're going to be speaking to about said topic so doing your research so that you can form these questions is very very important out for your subjects this could literally be anyone this could be your family this can be your friend this could be a friend of a friend this could be somebody that you found on the yellow pages this could be literally anyone an animal a car this is going to be the main attraction the meat of your film is going to be your subject because this is what your audience is going to be looking at during the film so yeah this is the part where you need to find someone who's comfortable on camera who is able to be on camera and who is you know willing to be comfortable with the idea that they might be filmed you know first equipment that i have is a camera of your choice i have this Canon Rebel T6i, but you can also use your smartphone, which is what I'm using right now for this very video. So yeah, you will need lighting of some sort, not specifically this one. However, this is something that comes in handy. A notepad to write your thoughts and your ideas on. A computer for you to get your editing done on because editing is a whole different beast of the filmmaking process so you need to make sure that whatever you use to edit on it can handle Adobe, Premiere, Avid or whatever editing software that you decide to use for this process. Sound equipment. You can use a zoom mic, XLR cable, a shotgun mic, a tote bag to carry all this stuff around, headphones for you to hear when you're doing your sound. Also batteries, make sure you look at the equipment that needs batteries and make sure you carry those batteries. Very important because batteries die and also during the winter, gloves, okay? I'm not even playing because it's cold, especially in New York weather. Make sure you have your gloves. It's important to have an external drive to hold all of the stuff that you're going to be filming and recording. I just want to let you know that filmmaking can be so rewarding and so much fun, especially when you get into the nitty gritty of it or when you finally finish the film and you get that gratifying feeling. When you complete a project, it feels good. I just want you to be able to use this as a guide for your own filmmaking journey and just a video for you to know what to expect when you do make your film and when you finish your film which you will because i believe in you all right i just want to wish you all luck in your projects in your filmmaking endeavors or otherwise and i hope that this video was very helpful to you all right 